everyone. Um, so I'm firstly going to apologize if you hear my husband in the other room. I'm in the kitchen and he's in the living room and he's talking to one of his friends on the Xbox. So that could be, you could hear that. Um, I am super excited for a few reasons because I'm going to just like slam out a whole bunch of videos today because it's vacation week. So I'm at home and it's such a beautiful thing to be at home when it's light out. Um, so I have some a, a bunch of videos I'm going to film. So you're going to basically see me in my bathroom twice. But I figured like it's real life and these next two videos are skincare videos. So I might as well wear my bathrobe. Right? Right? Because who gets dressed and then does skincare? Don't lie. So. Um, <laughs> the first video today, right now, this one, is you probably could tell by the title and the thumbnail. I, why do we always be like, we're always like, so today's video is about when I'm sure you just figured it out with the thumbnail and the title. But we have to tell you anyways. Anyways, so, my hair is going to drive me insane. This is a, my current hairstyle that I've been wearing for like, I wear it all the time, like every day. Every day that I don't wash my hair. Okay. So today's video is going to be about some origin skincare. Um, this was from their holidays, um, one of their holiday skincare sets, and I don't actually have the box anymore. Um, so this is just going to be like a quick little review. Um, I I don't even I can't even find the box on Sephora, but I can link everything separately um, on Sephora. I'll link it down below so that you guys can check it out. Um, and I'm not going to go all like looking up everything. Look, my sleeves are rolled up in my bathrobe and everything. Hold on, I got to unroll them. That'll be cuter. Also, this bathrobe was part of my Christmas gift. It was the free with purchase bathrobe from Ulta. And they only had large, extra large left. And I am actually glad because I really like it. It's so snuggly and it's soft. It's much better quality than the one I got last year. Okay. Anyways, back on track. So I will link um, what I can down below. Um, this is, this actually, my husband got me this set for our anniversary, which was very sweet. And I'm going to kind of go in order of how I apply things um, a little bit. And I've tried everything in here so far. Um, one of the things I've only tried once, but I know how I feel about it. So anyways, let's, let's get crack a lack and otherwise this video is going to be like 20 minutes long and not only like 12. I'm hoping we're going to be around the 12 mark, 12 minute mark. What do you think? Let's try it. Okay. So the first thing is the origins. Um, all of this is going to be origins, so I probably will just tell you what it is. Um, the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And this is a, it's, it's a face wash. It's really cool though, um, because the ingredients are simply to squeeze a small amount into palm, add warm water to lather and rinse thoroughly. So basically I just open it up and I'm not going to waste it. It smells nice. It smells kind of sweet and kind of minty, but like minty, not like pepperminty, like that sweet mint. Dude, I just killed an entire swarm all by myself. He killed an entire <coughs> swarm by <coughs> I was trying to get a, um... I don't even know if you guys can hear it. Um... Okay, <laughs> so, anyways. Um, it's just like a white cream. It kind of has like a sheen to it, like a little bit of a sheen. It looks like pearlescent almost. So I just squirt out a little dollop onto my hand, um, add some water to it after I've dampened my face, add some water to it, and then mix it around in my hands. I just basically rub my hands together and it just coats your hands with this beautiful like frothy, silky, smooth, white creaminess. And I just rub it all over my face and I just rub until I feel like I'm all done. Like I just go and go and go. I could probably sit there and rub my face with it for like seven years, but it's fine. Um, it smells really nice. Like it, it smells, I like Origins products because they don't smell fake. They smell like their ingredients, I feel like. So I really enjoy this. I feel like it makes my skin feel so clean, but like so bright at the same time. So this is great. Another like cleanser slash mask. This is a cleanser and mask. It's the Origins by All Greens Foaming Deep Cleansing Mask with Green Tea spir Spirulina. Spirulina? Spirulina? Um, and spinach. And this is like, I, I don't know if it has the instructions on here. I had to look it up on Sephora. But this is like a kind of a gel consistency. Um, oh, it does. It does. Okay, so it says it's a self-activating foam mask with green tea, spirulina, and spinach. 
helps gently deep clean and unclog pores without stripping skin. So step one is to dispense into hand without blending, apply even layer immediately to skin. If you experience sensitivity, apply to damp skin, relax and allow foam to develop. So I applied it to dry skin and didn't have any sensitivity. Um, I thought it was, it was perfectly fine on my skin. Um, and then step two, wet fingers and massage in circular motion to reactivate foam. Rinse well and avoid the eye area. So I use this, I just kind of spread the thin layer, it's kind of like a gel consistency on my face. Um, it's like a gr like clearish green color. You can kind of see there's a little bit of the green like on the little cap right there still. Um, that's what it looks like when it dries. So it dries a little bit more green and kind of foamy looking and then I just got in the shower, um, wet my hands and then just kind of massaged it into my face. Um, I didn't feel like it got particularly foamy um, but it definitely did did the job. My skin felt really smooth and, and not dry, like not crunchy, crackety, dry, crackety. Um, I think it felt really nice. And none of this stuff has broken out my skin either. That's another cool thing. Um, something that I like about Origins. These spots that I have are just things that come. I'm just, it's real life, okay? It's real life. Um, the next thing, it, actually I use this today um and the way that i'm just gonna say real quick the way that i like to use charcoal masks or masks like this um and especially because this is only 0.5 ounces so this is little um i only put it on trouble areas so i put it on my chin today i put it on my nose because i've been getting some like weird little things on my nose and then up here on my forehead and right between my eyebrows um, <laughs> there he goes again so i just put it in those places and that way you get a lot more uses because if I use this on my entire face I probably would end up using it in like three uses the whole thing um so yeah I I like this clay mask or charcoal mask a lot I've used this a couple of times um this is the clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores um and I definitely think it did it makes make my skin look just brighter in the places that I use it like it doesn't look as grungy it just looks nice um, so you put it on um, it says to you wash your face thoroughly first so I use the checks and balances face wash before I use this um, wash my face then dry it off <laughs> um, so just dry it off and then I go in with this it says online to use a hot towel or a warm towel to open your pores i did that the first time but then it's like by the time i get the towel from my microwave back to my bathroom it's cold so i didn't actually do that this time and i i felt like it worked anyways um so you just put on a nice generous layer um not too thin not too thick probably thicker the better and then just let it dry and it dries so like mm, like you can't move your face um but that's okay i think it works I don't know. It's hard to tell with masks. That's kind of the thing. Because I have another clay mask. Or charcoal mask, not clay mask. Um, and it's hard to tell with masks. Alright, so another little one is the um, Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Huff. And this is 0.5 ounces. And I'm pretty sure that the full size is 0.5 ounces. It's just in a little glass jar. Um, and the whole set, this whole set was, the, I believe, the price of this one, one item. Um... So this eye cream is really nice. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. I've never had an eye cream like this. It's like a pearlescent pink color. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's like kind of a pearlescent pink. Um, so it's got like a sheen to it and you put it under your eyes and I really, like, I don't know if you can see. It kind of highlights under your eyes. I really, I like especially using it when I am not going to put makeup on. Um, so I just use it in the morning. Um, and I just dab it around my, right down here. Um, I don't go around my whole eye, my whole eye um, but I just go down in the bottom. And I really do feel like it brightens and depuffs under my eyes. Um, and I, I don't really feel the need to use concealer as much. Um, so I really like that. I think that is really good. And that doesn't have any scent at all. Um, the clay mask doesn't have any scent either. And then um, next we have the Ginseng Energi Energy Boosting Moisturizer. And I love this stuff. Um, I had little 
a little sample smaller than this. I think they were the 0.25 ounces of, of um, this one and the nighttime one. And I used the whole samples. And usually I don't do that. And then that was when, when John was like, oh, you really like those, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I do. Um, so this smells incredible. Like, even even John has commented on how it smells. It smells like citrus. Um, it, this this is a plastic jar. This isn't glass, yeah. Um, it smells like citrus. It's like this beautiful, like, gel consistency. It's not, like, as you can see, it's it's, like, not super thick. But it's not like a super thin gel and it, it melts into your skin so nice um, it's not the most hydrating cream I've ever tried I probably could use something a little more hydrating for winter um, but but I don't have any dry patches so I, I think it's working fine um, but it smells amazing it smells like citrus and herbs and it's just wonderful um, so I really love this it soaks right in it sits nice under makeup good 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 um, and then uh, lastly is the High Potency Nitamins. This is the Mineral Enriched Renewal Cream. And this smells even better. <laughs> I can actually, this I can smell in my face when I go to bed. And John actually can smell it too. Um, this again has like the citrus and herb and sweet something smell. Like it's just smells like clementines. This is really thick. This is more like a balm and you, I need barely any of this. Like. All of these products, you can use the smallest amount and it just goes so far. Like even the the daytime cream, I mean, it goes so far. I, I've been using this for about a week, all of these, every day um, <clears throat> for about a week. And I've, I mean, I barely even made a dent in it. So this is gorgeous. It smells so good. It just, it's like a balm. I start, you know, kind of get the most of it on my nose because it's my driest area and right here and then just spread it all over and it's just so nice and my face in the morning just feels so nice. It doesn't feel like dry and nasty and gross. Um, so yeah, I love the Origin skincare products so far. Um, I, I just love them. I haven't tried anything except for the morning and night cream and they're just, they're so good. And the ingredients in them are great. Um, they are relatively pricey, but I think with the amount that you use of it, I mean, this is going to last me. They're going to last me forever. Um, probably the thing I will have to repurchase eventually is the um, Checks and Balances face wash, just because you use a little bit more face wash. Um, and sometimes, well, that might go faster, but I don't really know. But that I would definitely repurchase. I would repurchase all of these, actually, I think, except maybe the greens. Um, mask and cleanser. I don't know if I've repurchased that just because I like the checks and balances one. Um, but yeah, I'm super impressed with these products. I think they're awesome. I will link them all down below so you guys can check them out. Um, Origins is just, it's awesome. And everything smells so nice. Like it doesn't smell like it has a smell. You know what I mean? But they're great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you gained a little insight on the Origins brand if you were wondering about anything in there line um, I would recommend any of these products to anyone um, and I would also recommend them for any skin type as well um, I think that they can go either which way um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can leave a comment down below let me know what you think or let me know if you what other videos you're looking forward to or is there any skincare products that you guys would like to see tried let me know um, yeah I enjoyed making this video and now I'm going to go make another one. <laughs> I thank you guys very much for watching. Subscribe if you would like to. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye. That was a horrible ending. Bye. <laughs>